what, what the haters talking about. Yeah. What's up, family? Raise your hand if you would not like to be notified if your child was being bullied at school. That's what I thought, sensible people. It turns out that common sense is not all that common when dealing with school officials. There's this kid by the name of Jacob Tarris. He was 12 years old in 2015, when after being relentlessly bullied, he took his father's shotgun, took his life. Before he did that, he wrote a suicide note on a lined sheet of paper. He said, I'm tired of being pushed, punched, and tripped. Tired of people calling me names. He couldn't take it in. We're talking about a 12-year-old kid. He took his life. So his parents, in honor of his legacy, they want to do something about it. So they started this petition that turned into a, uh, a bill. And they're trying to get it passed to make it become law. They want school officials to notify parents if their child is being bullied. But that's not all. They want them to also notify the parents of the bullying child also. That's a good look right there. First of all, you would think that it would just be common sense for the school to notify a parent if they thought their child was being bullied, right? But on top of that, it's crazy that we have to pass a law. We have to mandate this in order for these people to feel compelled to share this information with the parents. It's a good thing also that they included notifying the bullying child's parent. Oftentimes we say it starts at home and oftentimes kids who bully, they have bullying parents and they have parents who let them sometimes just have their way, just let them run amok, let them push people around, bully people. And some of these kids bully their own parents. Some of them will slap their parents and kick them and all kind of stuff. But then you have parents who are very attentive, very involved with their children, and they're doing all the things that they're supposed to do. But they don't know that their kid is going up to that school acting an ass. So it's good to put those parents on notice because that's going to, it's going to break up some of it. It's not going to completely stop it. Bullying is not going anywhere anytime soon, especially in the most bullying country of all time. We get a, we got this fixation with bullying in America. We love some bullying, man. Oh, man. You know, it's, it's crazy, too, because a lot of the politicians, they're quick to pass a anti-bullying law. This, this thing, you know, they're quick to get behind it, right? But at the same time, they bully the American people, and they also bully their allies abroad sometimes. And... They damn sure bully their enemies. Amazing. If there was any bullying from my child, I would definitely want to know. Because we would get that straight. We would get that straight out the gate. Say, whether my child was doing the bullying or my child was getting bullied, I'd have to fix that. I would fix that right away because... I don't appreciate people who try to push people around just because they feel like they are stronger. That was this case of this one little kid who was in the fourth grade about 10 years ago. 
And he was pushed down the stairs by a bully. There was a small group of bullies that were always picking on this kid. And I forgot what uh, city and state that kid was from, but they pushed him. This one guy pushed him down the stairs and he ended up a paraplegic. The parents sued the school. They couldn't get anything out of the school because a lot of these schools have tarts and you know they have these these laws that state that the school cannot be responsible for not pre preventing uh, injury to your child or your child being emotionally or physically abused, even killed. Uh, they can be held liable if they actively create circumstances that leads to your child being bullied or harmed in some type of way. So it's important to know that. But the reporter of bullying at a school has to report it to the State Department of Education, but they're not mandated to report it to the parents, who I presume would care way more than the State Board of Education would, any person that would. And it's like they're trying to take right after right after right away from parents. I don't understand this. They're trying to like, these kids, it's like parents uh, shut up and just provide. Here's the bottom line. If kids don't feel safe, comfortable, respected, protected at school, they're not going to want to go to school. It's as simple as that. You can pass all the laws you want to pass. It's not going to change anything. Look at all of the laws that we have in this country already. How many of these laws that we have actually work? I mean, that's really just really, really effective. This comes down to America's lack of compassion for one another. Americans' lack of compassion for one another. That's what it comes down to, man. Lack of dignity. Respect. There is none. And it starts at the top. Leaderships always start at the top. Leadership starts at the top and it trickles down. And you see what kind of leadership we have. You got a dude that's bent on being divisive. So it's easy to be that kind of way when you're looking at the top and they don't know what the hell they're doing and they're mean-spirited and they're being divisive. But we got a long way to go. A law is only as good as the people who's enforcing it. You can look at the laws outside of the school. Just look at how effective they are. They're not. People don't kill necessarily because they don't want to go to jail. Most people don't kill because I do believe that they don't kill because it's the right thing to do. They have compassion. Because I do believe if somebody want to kill, I don't give a damn what the law say. They're going to kill. So you got to work on people's minds. You know, these kids that are doing all that bullying, man, these kids are bullying because they messed up in the head. And they need the psychological evaluation. They need counseling. And a lot of them parents need counseling. They, the parents didn't get counseling when they laid up and procreated. So they ain't even got themselves together and they already brought babies into the world. And now what you think gonna happen? Exactly what's happening. So a law is only as good as the person who is enforcing the law. And I'll take it even further than that. It's only as good as the person who is abiding by the law. That's what it is. And y'all know how that work in the United States of America. People are gonna do what they wanna do at the end of the day. If somebody ain't right, I don't give a damn how many laws you have. They're not going to be right. 
No more talk. What, what, what the ladies talking about? Yeah.